Hello and welcome back to the Salesforce Health channel and today in this video I'm going to talk about how you can change the fields and the buttons in the related list that you that you see onto the records detail and edit page using page layouts coming up. Page layouts are basically used to manage the layout of the records detail as well as the records edit page. Let me show you what is records detail page and what is records edit page. So whenever I click onto the new button to create a new account record, uh, I get the records edit page. Getting it? And whenever I click onto the records, like records link, and whenever I see this page over here, so these are the related lists and these are like these are the fields. Which, are, which we have on the account object. So in order to modify the layout, like which field should be visible where and which related should, uh, related list, list should be there and which related list should not be there and which button should be there and which button should not be there, including many other things, we need to use or basically edit or change the page layout. And how we can do that is, we just need to go to setup Click on object manager, click on the object of which you want to change the page layout or edit the page layout like this. I'm going to click on page layouts uh, section that we are getting on the left hand side and I'm going to click on the page layout that we want to edit. So there are five page layouts in here. I want to edit the account layout. Now here is the page layout which is divided into two types or uh, two parts basically. One is the palette. This is the palette that we are getting over here which includes everything. The fields that we have on the account object, the buttons that we can include, the custom links, the quick actions, mobile and lightning actions, expanded lookups, related lists, report charts, components, visual force pages, and so on. So like imagine if you want to like change the fields layout in this, like we want uh, industry field to be here, or we want uh, this SL expiration date should not be there. Uh, if you want to remove this field, we can simply click on this minimize or remove a button over here to remove it customer priority uh, we can change it like this and if in case we want to like set the type of the account uh, like if you want to set a property of any of the field on the page layout we can do it like this we'll click on the wrench which is basic which basically defines the properties and there are two properties that we can control with the help of page layout number one is read only the other one is required so if you want to make any field required just click on to it and it will be required it will only be required on this page layout it will not be required on the other page layout so make sure that you understand the difference between both of these and uh, if you want to like set any field like phone number as read only on this page layout then you can set it like like this and if you want to uh, add any of the fields from the palette uh, in the page layout then just drag the field that you want and set it wherever you want just like this like you want the full name to be not to be here, you want the full name to be here, so set it like this. And if you want to create a new section, which will include like other type of information like extra info, whatever info you want to save or like whatever name you want to give to this particular section, just add it, add the section, section like this and add the fields, whichever you want to add in here. The dot com key, default opportunity. These are the fields that we have and if you want uh, like a blank space between default opportunity and clean status and in that case we have this blank space just drag it like this and drop it like this that's it now let's talk about the related list like how to edit the related list or how to add a new related list or remove the existing related list on that particular page layout so uh, we have the contacts related list opportunities cases open activities activity history if i want to remove the open activities related list i'll simply click on this minimize or remove button and it will be removed from this and uh, in the notes and attachments, if I, like, I, I want to keep this and like in opportunities, I uh, like the fields that I am getting are uh, opportunity name, stage, amount, close date. I want to add one more field into it. So I'm going to click on the, on the wrench and I can add uh, like whatever field I want to add from opportunity into this related list. Like next step, I, if I want to add it like this and I want this uh, next step to be on the third as a third field. So I'm going to click on OK. And now if you can see opportunity name, stage, next step, amount, close date are there. Just like this. If you want to add new buttons, then in that case, we'll click on this buttons uh, what link over here in the palette. And we can add it just like this. So if you want to uh, verify with DB and uh, everything, we'll just draw, drag this button 
submit for approval again drag this button and drop it in here that's all what you got to do so see it's added and when it comes to adding the uh, like actions you just need to override the global actions that uh, that were there and click on quick actions and everything like you want to add a new quick action add it like this if you want to set it uh, on top set it like that. and that's how you need to edit the page layouts now these are all the things that you can do with the page layout to modify the way your record will look or uh, like to modify the basically two things records detail page and records edit page now what all you need to do is just save this page layout that's it now if we'll go and create a new account record like this we'll see the updated page layout yes so over here the fields are uh, set, set as I have set over there and the type field is required. Remember we have set this type field as required over there with the help of properties and uh, one other field was there uh, which was I guess uh, email or something I don't know what exactly it was but uh, yeah that field we set as read only so it's not available over here and there is another section that we added extra info in which we added some fields like data.com key and uh, like some other fields so they are also added over here and if you create it like this type technology partner and you just need to save it so when you'll see this particular record you're going to see the related list that you have added over there so see open activities and activity history are also not here and when you go to the details section you're going to find this extra info section also over here that's all what you need to understand in order to modify the records detail page and edit page with the help of page layout let me tell you what actually intrigued me or what actually got me to create this video of page layout so late so i'm already creating videos on the consultant part and the developer part but uh, like i haven't created a video on page layout yet and uh, some of the like viewers of salesforce hulk uh, like there was one uh, you can see the comment over here uh, he asked me that please create a video on page layout and i thought that i i have already created a video on page layout why do i have to create it once again then i searched it into my video list and found out that it was not there and it's the very basic functionality that every user every administrator every developer needs to understand while learning salesforce so like this comment this like this very simple comment intrigued me to create this video you can also write down the comments on my videos and i'm going to make sure that I'm, I, I read all of them and i respond to the ones that i need to and uh, i'll try to respond to as many as i can and will create all of the videos or like will provide you as much content on Salesforce as I can. Believe me, like it's my passion. I love to do it. And like th this comment intrigued me that I haven't created a video on page layout. What am I doing? I should create it right now. So this, like I just saw this comment and I created this video right now. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you have liked it. If you have liked it, then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here. And also please make sure to comment down the problems of the uh, the problems or uh, the issues that you're facing while learning Salesforce and mastering Salesforce so that I can also uh, like get my knowledge together onto that particular topic and create a video like this that will actually help you guys out to excel your Salesforce skills. And if you're committed to master the Salesforce skills, then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here. Once again, see you next time. And then bye-bye. Take care.